In our last lesson, we used PWM to control the position of a servo. And in this lesson, what we're going to do is we're going to use our servo again. But this time we are going to control its position using a potentiometer. So this here is a potentiometer. Uh, this is a little mini potentiometer. You can get potentiometers in a range of um, sizes. And basically what it is, is a variable resistor. So as we twist the top of the potentiometer, it increases the resistance. Um, so we're going to use that to control our position of our potentiometer. So what we will do, we'll hook our, our uh, servo back up, like we had it in our previous lesson. So we had the signal pin or signal wire on the servo in on pin nine. We had the ground ground connected to the ground on the Arduino. And we were using the power supply from the battery. So the positive end of the battery goes in and connects to the positive pin on our servo. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this potentiometer and place it on our breadboard. We want to connect our uh, one side of the potentiometer to the 5 volt pin on the Arduino. So there. And we want to take the other side of our potentiometer and connect it to the ground. So we have now got three, three things connected to ground. We've got our battery here connected to ground. We have got the ground wire on the servo connected and we've got one end of the potentiometer connected to ground as well. The middle pin on our potentiometer, we want to take that and connect it to, connect it to the A0, so the analog zero pin on our Arduino. So a little bit hard to see there, but we have the uh, middle pin of our potentiometer connected to the zero analog pin. So A0 on our Arduino. Now if we connect our uh, Arduino back up again. We can see here that our servo is rotating. Uh, because the la previous sketch is loaded up. So what I need to do is load up the new sketch. Okay, so the sketch we're going to use uh, for this lesson to use a potentiometer with our Arduino to control the position of a servo is called Servo Knob. And that was written by Mo uh, Mikhail Renot and modified by Scott Fitzgerald. Once again, we include we include the servo library here, and as I mentioned in the previous uh, lesson, that without this servo library, it would be very difficult indeed to use a servo with our Arduino. Um, we create the servo object here, my servo, and then we have the two variables here. So we have the pot pin variable. So this one of type integer is the um, the pin that we're using uh, with our pot pin so that's the analog pin here pin zero and then we have the integer uh, val uh, which will give us our um, or hold our um, uh, values um, for each um, for each value that the pot pin um, gives us so in the setup um, area here we attach the um, servo object to pin 9 
So that's the pin 9 on our Arduino. And in the loop section here, we have um, the value set to the uh, val set to the value of the analog read pot pin. So basically what that's doing is putting setting this variable val to whatever the pot pin is reading. So on the potentiometer going into pin 0, A0 on the uh, Arduino, whatever value it is, it uh, sets it to that val there. And then what we're doing next is we're using this map function and what the map function does, it takes one range and converts it to an, another range. So what we're doing here is saying, well, uh, within this range here, that value coming from the pot pin, convert it to this range here. So from 0 to 1023, convert it to the range from 0 to 180. And then write that to the uh, the servo. So basically what it's doing, if it's a value of 1023 coming from the pot pin, it will convert it to 180 and then write that value 180 to the servo. So we need a value between 0 and 180 to write to our servo so it knows what position to go to. And then we have a slight delay um, to allow that servo to reach its position. Now, just before I um, load up that code to the Arduino, I'll just go and show you a couple of um, sites here. We'll just um, go to the simulator here. So this is on the 123D circuits, and we have our setup here just as we do with our real Arduino device. Uh, we've got our uh, potentiometer attached here and our servo attached over here. And what I have is a... Um, a multimeter that a voltage meter that is attached to the AO pin so we can read the voltage going into that AO pin. So if I start the uh, simulation we will see that as I when I start we've got zero volts uh, reading and then as we increase the voltage goes up until it gets to 5 volts. So we've got the voltage changing as we change the um, potentiometer reading into um, the a AO pin, the analog zero pin. Um, and if we go back to our sketch, we'll see that we need values from 0 to 1023. So just on that, if we go to the Arduino website um, there's a tutorial on uh, reading a potentiometer uh, so that will explain how the analog um, analog read reads um, those values so we've got values between it reads a value between 0 and 1023 um, so when the voltage between 0 and 5 volts going in it'll give you the values between 0 and 1023 so worth having a read of, of that page there another um, another area that's worth having a look at on the spark fun website uh, we have a tutorial on voltage dividers so when you're using analog devices with your arduino so analog sensors etc um, you will be using a voltage divider because the Arduino can't actually read resistance or, or temperature or anything else. It reads voltage. So it's the difference in voltage will give you the, um, the reading. So you have to use a voltage divider to get that, um, that reading going into the, one of the analog pins. So this is well worth a read on the SparkFun website. And another thing that's worth having a look at in, on the uh, Electronics Club website, and these links are all in, within the documentation on, uh, attached to this lesson, we have a bit of a tutorial on how a potentiometer works. So um, this little um, graphic here gives a good um, explanation of how it works. And in our, in our sketch, we had one side of this 
um, track here attached to ground, the other side attached to 5 volts, and our analog pin was the middle pin there. So when this wiper changed from one side to the other and the resistance changed, we had a, a voltage difference going into our analog uh, zero pin. So worth having a look at those, um, those three pages on, on those websites. So going back to our sketch here, if I load that up and we'll watch to see what happens. And once the new sketch is loaded, now when we turn our potentiometer here, we can see that the servo also responds and turns in position. So when we turn the potentiometer, the servo also turns.